Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how GPT pilot works. So let's try it out. I'll do Python name. So first it asks you for a project name. I'll do, do just a chat app and I'll describe your project. So I'll do a, a simple chat app with real time communication. All right, so now it asks you a couple of questions that just to clear it, uh, clear it up. So, one, I'll just answer these quickly. Just text. I'll just remove all the unnecessary features just so this works. No authentication. Make it a web app. All right, now it creates this high level description of a project that it's going to use in the prompts later on. And after this, it starts generating user stories. And user stories are basically what exactly can a user do within the application. And this is really important so it can code a much easier later on. Um, so if everything is clear, you can just press enter. If you want to change something, you can write it down. All right. Um, all right, it seems like everything is fine. So I'll just press enter. So now it creates project architecture, what technologies it's going to use. So um, you need to have these technologies installed. So once you have them, just press done. All right, so now it starts with the actual development. And what we realized is what works uh, best is that first it creates this kind of a description, like in human language, what, what needs to be done to implement this application. And then after that, we have another um, agent that parses this description and creates actionable items like a command run or a code change from this description. Uh, what we realized that is that that works much better rather than when we um, go straight to the coding uh, right away. All right, I'll just speed this up a little bit. All right, so now it's done with the, with the parsing of the task and now it starts with actual, you know, realization. So first it wants to install some packages. They're installed. So you can see here. So the idea is, is that this is used within, um, within the ID. So here you can see all your, all the code. Um, yeah. And anyway, so it wants to run the node server. So it's listening. All right, so it has something. All right, but. Okay, so when when I sent the message well, during the time when the when the command was running, it actually got some error and it registered it. It is mongoose error. Something is not accepting a callback. Uh, so anyway, it's fixing it uh, right away by itself. So anyway, we'll see what happens after it fixes it. Um, all right, so now it seems to have fixed it. So I'll just put node server, it seems to be working. So I'll restart, all right, so we have something. Oh, okay, so uh, basically the, the command finished. But anyway, so uh, now it tells you what to do, like, hey, open the two browser, navigate to this and this. So once you're ready, uh, click continue. All right, so what I'm just going to do is chat app node server. All right, uh, okay, so let's see. So now, message one. All right, so it seems to be working. Message two. 
All right, so now we have this simple chat app implemented, but what is really cool is that now you can continue working on it. So for example, I'll close this, I'll go back to my terminal. So now here, uh, I can just press continue and it will end uh, the app, but what I can do, I can tell it something more. Um, also make it look nicer and some modern design. All right. So anyway, I entered this and we'll see we'll see what what happens uh, next. I'll speed this up as well. All right. So it's finished now finally. Um yeah, so let's see what happens now? All right. First user, first message. All right. And then show it. Second user, second message. All right. First user first. All right, so there we go. So for some reason it got into some kind of a loop. I'll, I'll debug it likely later, but for some reason it took it really, really long to implement these second changes. And I can see that it rewrote index.html a couple of times for some reason. Anyway, I'm not sure why, but um, anyway, this is this is generally how it works. I'm super excited to hear what you think. Please let us know in comments, suggestions. You can shoot us an email. However, we're super excited to to hear what you think. All right, have a great one. Bye bye.